What's going on everybody? Superman Ryan here and we are back with some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and we have some very exciting news today. So there was an update today and I'm going to show you exactly what that update was. New quest revealed or released. Released. Not new quest revealed. New quest released. Chapter 3 Part 1 unveiled. So one, we get the green gem treasures now that we can trade at the barbershop and we have new quests that means more grinding for stones free stones that is fucking sweet now we're gonna take a look at the baba shop let's see what we got let's see what we got already taking a quick look at this all right this is all the shit that we can get with these new treasures this is all the shit that we can get with this new quests we get new characters, we get new Elder Kai's, which is awesome, because I think that my Gogeta Super Attack is level 7, so if I get both of those level 9 Super Attack, that would be fucking sweet. Now we're going to take a look at a couple of these cards. So we have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Yu. Oh, there we go. Uh, an Intelligence Type SSR. Leader Ability is All Types Attack plus 25%, which is not bad. Father Son Kamehameha causes supreme damage to enemies. Attack plus 77% when HP is 80% or below. So that's not actually all that bad. What was that background? Okay. For a second, I thought that that was the dragon from Goku's Dragon Fist back there. An SSR Krillin. Polished Technique Krillin. Leader Skill. Key plus 2 when HP is 30% or above. Not too bad. Chain Destructo Disc Barrage causes extreme damage and lowers defense. Not too bad. The Just Right Fight. Damage received minus 50% when guard is activated. So that's not bad at all. An SSR Chiaotzu. So you doke on this motherfucker and you're going to have an ultra rare Chiaotzu. Will you click on it? You done little. There we go. Leader skill, strength type enemies attack minus 30%, so that's not bad at all. Uh, super attack is dot on ray, extreme damage, rare chance to stun enemies, passive is masterful tactics, may stun the attack enemy within the same turn. So it's really actually not all that bad. SSR tech Yaucha, again, you don't want to awaken him uh, or awaken him. Uh, you're going to have yourself an Ultra Bear Yamcha. Tech type attack plus 50%, which is actually pretty sweet. Spirit Ball causes extreme damage and greatly lowers attack. Again, pretty sweet. A passive is my, my Rising Morale. Key plus 8 only once when HP is 80% or below. Decent. We got our Elder Kai's, we got our Super Saiyan Goku, all out charge Super Saiyan Goku, and Agility SSR, Leader Skill is Agility, Tech and Strength type attack plus 30%, not too shabby, Kamehameha causes huge damage to enemies, um, an un unrepentant battle, repentant, yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know. Key plus two for all allies when HP is 50% or above, which isn't too bad, but the great thing about this card is if you look at this key meter, he does he does a super attack very, very easily. You don't have to I just spit. You don't have to fill up his key meter all the way for him to do a super attack. The strength, a gentle-hearted warrior, super saiyan, Gohan youth, HP plus 30%, which isn't bad. Kamehameha causes huge damage to enemies. Blossoming power, attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. Not too bad, not too bad. Piccolo, tech piccolo. Ace up the sleeve piccolo. Leader skill, all types attack plus 20%. Not the best, but not too bad. Super attack, special beam cannon, causes huge damage to enemy and lowers attack. Not too bad. Training, vindicated. Damage received minus 50% when guard is activated. Pretty damn sweet depending on who you're going up against. And then here's one that I've never seen before today. Intimidating Body Exchange Ginyu Goku. I've never seen this before today. Leader skill HP plus 30%. Not bad. 
Milky Cannon causes huge damage to enemy. Uh, passive skill is Goku's True Power. Change Tech Key to Rainbow Key, which again is not bad at all. More than the CI, I've never seen that before. Oh, only a tech plus 300. Whatever. So that is pretty sweet that we get these new characters, uh, this new shop at the barber shop, plus all of these new missions that we're gonna get to do to grind those stones and progress through the storyline, which is fucking sweet in my opinion. Uh, I know that Bandai Namco has been saying that they want Global to catch up to the Japan version uh, as quickly as possible. I know that they're not going to be able to do it overnight. They're obviously going to have to take their time and let some of these events come out, give these events time to uh, see the light of day before they go away. But it's nice to see that they are holding up on that and we are going to be able to catch up to Japan hopefully within the next couple of months. Uh, that's my goal because and I will try to put a picture up somewhere up here somewhere on the fucking screen I don't know where uh, but because there were two new um, cards that are coming out on the Japan version now I don't know anything about these cards yet I don't know uh, their abilities I don't know their leader skill or passive skill I don't know their their overall stats. I don't know how good cards they're going to be, but I do know that from what I hear, they're going to be pretty badass with giving, I think, um, well, first off, the two cards are Omega Shinron and Buhan. Super Buu Absorb Gohan. Um, from what I hear, at least Omega Shinron is going to be key plus three to, I think it's intelligent type. I could be wrong, um, but I think it's intelligent type. And uh, attack plus 70%, or I, th I think it's attack and HP plus 70%. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on any of this, but I believe that that's what his leader ability is, is whatever type he is, plus three key, and uh, a 70% boost in one or another stat. Uh, and I believe Buhan is around the same. Uh, but that's fucking sweet. All we have right now to go off of, though, are the pictures that were released, the leaks. Uh, but I do have one more thing to show you guys. So, I have been grinding and grinding and grinding to get this out for you guys. I don't, I'm not finished yet. I still have five more, uh, five more medals to get, as you can see. Um, I have enough to Dokkan Awaken one of my Gohans. Only one, but I only need five more medals, and that's not going to take a whole lot of work. Look, I got 90 stamina right now. I can bust out two, plus use my other, uh, use my dragon stone, bust out another two, go do one of these new fucking missions, get another stone, bust out another two. That's six. That's plenty, uh, so that we can Dokkan awaken these bad boys in my next Dokkan battle video. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know how hyped you are about these new cards. Let me know how hyped you are about these new missions. Let me know how hyped you are about this new store in the barber shop. Let me know how hyped you are about Dokkan Battle in general. Let me know down in the comment section below. And make sure, guys, you hit that little notification button down below. I believe it's down below. Hit that little notification button so that every time I upload a video, you're going to get notified as soon as it goes up so you can see the Dokkan Battle news and updates as soon as I post them. And guys, these are the videos that I put up. I don't schedule these videos. I put these videos up as soon as I'm done with them. As soon as I'm done recording, editing, and rendering them, these videos go live. Uh, my news and update videos, I do not schedule those. Like Dragon Block, uh, Dragon Block C is probably going to be scheduled at noon every single day until the series is over. Uh, and my other, whatever my second video is that day, I might come out with a schedule for that video, but my special news and updates about videos or about games like this, so Xenoverse 2, uh, those news and updates, Dragon Ball Fusion, those news and updates, and Dokkan Battle, those news and updates, as soon as those videos are done, those are going to go live. Now, another quick question I have for everybody is the new Naruto Shippuden game that is coming out for mobile. Uh, I believe it's Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Blaze. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's the name. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, if that's something that you want to see me do on my channel. It's something that I'm interested in. It's something that I, I think I'm going to play the game anyway, just at least to see how it is. 
But if you guys want to see it on the channel, let me know down in the comment section below. Like this video up so I know that you want to see it, uh, and we will get that done. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, make sure you like, subscribe, comment to the channel, hit that little notification button, and I will see you all in the next video, guys. This is Superman Ryan signing off, and I will see you in the comment section below. Peace, guys.